Hi, um, I'm Sheree Pilkington from Aquatic Courage. Aquatic Courage was um, the result actually of a book called It Takes Courage that we'll, we'll show you shortly. But a pot of courage actually consists of a team of women from many pockets of the world. And um, I'm happy to be the, the founder and coordinator of a pot of courage. And uh, today to introduce you to two of our cooks. So we have um, in the kitchen today, we have Nebo, um, uh, Nebo Deng from uh, South Sudan, South Sudanese, Ethiopian actually, come on in. And um, Lily Wright, who is Malaysian. Um, so A Pot of Courage is um, very much uh, an intercultural model. So we have a whole range of cultures, including Anglo-Australian. And um, the idea is that we that we work together, we um, exchange skills and, and lived experiences. So um, I think that um, uh, Nebo could probably give you an idea of, of what she's going to cook up in the, in the Aquata Courage kitchen. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, Nebo, today we cook in a sauce, um, KOS sauce, this is Ethiopia sauce. So we got here, the main thing with sauce is onions. So we already pre-cooked onions in this pot. So we have one seed, and they already been cooked. And um, so we... Have you just cooked that in oil? Yes. And anything else in there? This onion, they were 10 big onions. Yeah. And then with the uh, two cup of oils, olive oil, mm -hmm. and oil you want to put in. Mm -hmm. And then uh, two spoon of vegeta, this one. Yeah. So that's the stock. This is the, the stock. Vegeta stock. stock. Yep. That, that has a salt in it, so you don't need a salt to put on. Right. And you've just slow cooked. And then this, not a slow, but mm -hmm. cooked it for one hour. So we yep. cook. Now we will mix the ginger in the put the ginger in the blender and mix it. We're going to add ginger and garlic in our onion sauce that it's already been cooked. Ginger and this is garlic. Mix it. It's a hot chili. This hot chili has been mixed with a lot of the spices. We use that a lot in Ethiopia. Um, you cooked it. You can cook your salt and put it in. If you if you are a vegetarian, you can use it for vegetarian or meat. This is tomato paste, so we're going to put it in. So it changed the color. It made it, made it a bit red. So normally, people can use like fried tomatoes if you want to. If you don't want to put this in, and that one we use fried tomato. Um, Nebo, because it's Refugee Week, I thought that it might be a really good time to just talk a bit more about your life experience and your journey to Australia. So I know that you um, were born in Ethiopia um, and maybe you could just tell people a bit more about um, the countries that you had lived in before Australia and why you had to move, keep moving. Mm. I was born in Ethiopia and then um, I've been in Rock Youth Camp, two Rock Youth Camp in Ethiopia. I wasn't born in Rock Youth Camp, I was born in Finnish. Then I've been in two Rock Youth Camp and I went to Kenya. Rock Youth Camp? Kuru Ah, yes. Yes. <laughs> right. So in total I've been like five years, I can't remember the top of my head, but I think five years or more in Rock Youth Camp. And Kakuma, that's um, a Swahili word, I think, that means nowhere. Yeah. Um, that it's, and from what I've been told, it, it literally is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Can you describe a little bit about what that looks like? What does Kakuma look like? Kakuma is a very desert area, very dry, got a lot of, um, not a lot of water in it. So being in Rock Yitkan in Kakuma, we very limited with water and food. So water was a lot of problems. So you only have water once a day. So family have two buckets of water a day. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, Kakuma have um, yeah, that power can be quite Kakuma. Yeah. Nepo, because the theme for Refugee Week this year is um, Year of Welcome, I've been asking people, what does that actually mean? Like when, when do you feel welcome somewhere, or maybe not welcome? Can you remember a time in your settlement in Australia where you actually felt like, oh, maybe I am welcome here, maybe I do belong here? Mm -hmm. Do you remember anything yes. like that? Yeah. One thing, made, one thing I remember made me welcome is work when I'll be able to work when I was able to work, because coming here as refugees is different to people who come here as migrants. We, most of us come here with no education. So we have to start from the beginning, like going to learn English as a second language, even how to learn raw your name. That's something I remember when I first go to English classes. And um, when I, because coming here, you expect to be able to provide for your family, but then you arrive here and you step back. You have to learn English, you have to learn how to um, do a certificate to be able to get a job. So that was something that I looking forward for years when I was learning English as a second language. Yeah. So then after that I do certificate three and I remember having a job on like well now I'm part <laughs> of the country. I've, I've, because seeing people go to work is amazing and then you don't. Yeah. yeah. And then you get your driver's license and, and yeah. then you have all this independence. Yeah. 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 This is the ingredient for the bread cold in here. This is not the original, but um, we met. We met. This is the company we have come with. This one is um, one um, rice flour, one box of rice flour, and two and a half cup of salad yes, flour. Two, huh? cup, no, yeah. two, two, two cup. cup of rice. Yeah, separating. Yes, separating flour. Yes, and then two, four cup of water. But when you mix it, you have to put like two cup of water first, then mix it, and then you put one cup of water and mix it to make it mix well. Then you can add the, the fourth cup of water, then four cup of water, it will be um, what it is. And then you might add a little bit of water when we cook it. So now we're going to cook our bread in here. The trick with this cooking is um, now it's, it's like this. This one because, because it's like grimy, like a yeah. buttermilk. Yeah, like buttermilk. buttermilk. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we put the high heat mm -hmm. in the pan. We put in a high heat in the pan, and when you cook it all the time, use non fried, uh, non sticky fried pan. So that um, that will cook it easy. If you don't want to cook it thick, just put a little bit, just maybe put half of the cup in it. Start cooking. This is my favorite dish, Kaiwa sauce and injera.